200? 200? There's 200 different squares on here. Man, there's a lot of detail packed into these characters. That was hand done? Oh. Oh, dang. You're way too talented of an artist to be selling these for 245, that's for sure. Welcome back to another episode of Guess the Price. I'm Dylan DeJesus, and let's dive right in. Each panel is hand stitched, and there's over a thousand stitches. Hand stitched with a thousand stitches. Man, that is killer. What's really tough about pricing recon work is sometimes I don't, since it's it's not necessarily the, the world that I dabble in too much, I don't really know the cost of the raw materials, what they spent on this. Um, Cause it looks like they used a few different ones, but cool concept, really hard for me to guess the price, but I think that the photos match the, the general vibe of the theme as well. I don't know, blazers, what are those? Those are probably a hundred-ish dollar shoe. But I'm gonna guess that these are a $400 shoe. 300. I wonder if it was a pair that had to be deconstructed to then be put back together with all the materials or if the materials are more pieced on top. Can't tell because I'm not a recon expert, but $400 if they were deconstructed and put back together and look really, really dang good. A thousand stitches? I'm gonna say too low for these. All right, what do we have here? A bathing a bait pair. Okay, this is different. Now to get that pink to really pop on a pair of black Air Forces, that's a job well done if you ask me. That pink is super vibrant. Some clean stencil work done on top with a little bit of splatter. That pink really pops. That's not easy to do against black Air Forces. This shoe is gonna be listed at 315. 325. 325, man, it was close on that one. Yeah. That's a, that's, that's a nice price point where you're going to attract a lot of people. And this is a shoe that a, a lot of people would, uh, would really dig. Anytime you go for any of those big brands and do something um, that looks like it might be up a, a lot of people's alley of hopefully seeing a, a collab one day. But I think this is, a, this is definitely a different take. This is not something that you would expect to see if, if Bape and Nike were to actually collab. This is, this is thinking outside the box a little bit and I dig that here. There's, there's something really cool going on with these. Wow. Man, these are busy. Holy cow, there's a lot of different colors and paints used in these. Some top-notch stencil work. I mean, just look at look at the gradients within the, the text graffiti. That is killer. These are so well done. I would have done something on the toe box. I think there was an opportunity there. Little something more. I'm not gonna be happy if these are listed anywhere below 700, but I'm gonna say $850. 550. $550, no way. Ain't no way, ain't no way, ain't no way. These are worth way more than that. This is a really well done piece. Um, from how bombastic the backgrounds are, character work looks really good, stencil work, killer. Colors, just insane. 550 ain't no way. Whoever got these for 550 got the steal of a lifetime, that's for sure. Ooh, I dig these. Cartoon effect right away really, really, really stands out on these. The colors are super vibrant. Dig the photos too. Some cool airbrush work too on those inside swooshes. Wow. Cool custom lace locks as well. That's a nice little touch. The custom Air Jordan wing logo on the outsides of the shoes. The way that you have those uh, side silhouettes of the character. I'm gonna nail these spot on. This is a $475 shoe. 350. $350? No way, no way, no way. These are worth more than that. These are. These are really clean. These are well thought out too, because this inclusion of the character sort of peeking out from behind the swoosh and, and doing something like that. I don't think that's something that you would see that often um, in a lot of people doing cartoon inspired themes such as this. And there's just, there's a lot, a lot of cool stuff going on. The shading on the panels, stencil work on the toe. I mean, just how vibrant the colors are, the pictures of these really pop. Let's get those prices going up on these next time. Okay, this next pair I would wear. <laughs> okay, wow. What's tough about these is not knowing what the base looked like. Like, did they have to hand paint all of that? Yeah, all of that hexagonal print is painted. So it was done with vinyl stencil and airbrush. Vinyl stencil and airbrush, okay. 
some hand painting. I mean, these would take forever just based off of the size of them and how much work went into these. Okay, these need to be $700 of artwork and I have no idea what the shoe costs. Let's, let's just pretend that it was a $100 pair of boots. So I'm gonna say 800 total. 750. 750, I was, not, I was pretty close there too. I was pretty close there too. Job well done, these are, these are killer. Imagine pulling up in these, you're gonna get a lot of people talking, that's for sure. All right, what do we got? We've got a cool pair of beach themed cleats. A little bit of a sandy type look on the toes and the water. Looks really cool. I dig it when a, a player who's wearing these as he's looking from the top down, he just sees, you know, that sandy beach toe. So a simple gradient, but well done. Uh, palm tree stencils as well. These are gonna be listed at 275. 350, all right, well done. Some cool effects here, like I said, with the, my fav, the, the standout part of these is how well done the transition is from Sandy Beach into the rippling effects on the water. Kill it, and these pop, as you can tell. Strong gradient, well done. All right, looks like we got a pair of Air Force One mids here with a kind of like a poker theme, pocket sixes. I see on the outside of one shoe. The gradients are, are so smooth, so even, so consistent. I really like the almost realism or shading that is done on each of the poker chips. They're not flat in any way. They don't just have a, a simple sticker look. Each one was done individually. Hundreds, there's hundreds. I, you know, I mean, to be honest, because since there's so much shading on some of these other things, I almost think you could have done a little bit more on, on the cards. You got the sixes on there. So let's say these are 600 flat. 245. 200? 200. 245. Not 2,450? 200? 200? There's 200 different squares on here. <laughs> That's out of control. No way. I mean, it, it just doing those individual poker chips. Look at the shading on each. Airbrushing. That was hand done? Yeah. That's oh. What I was telling you. Oh, dang. <sighs> You're way too talented of an artist to be selling these for 245, that's for sure. So this next pair took about 50 hours. 50 hours. Okay, we got a Dragon Ball pair. The gradient on the, I believe it's Planet Namek background is very well done. The glows around the characters are really cool. I like how Cell uh, is oversized on the outside of the left shoe doing a really dynamic pose. All of the character work is really, really well done here. And there's a lot of detail packed into these characters. I'm gonna say these shouldn't be listed anything under than 600 total. 730. 730, all right, all right, that's a good price for these. I think for something like this, something that you definitely wanna consider is making the artistic decision to leave a lot of stuff white, the guts of your shoes, the toe box, the mud guard. Could those have been other areas where you could have expanded upon the story you're telling here or done even more stuff with the characters? or you know the, the the source material as a whole did leaving them completely white do anything to enhance your design and sometimes you leave stuff white or factory so that the piece can remain wearable whatever the case is you want to be able to make sure that you can back up that artistic decision and i think here for something like this where the artwork is so detailed so busy i think that those areas are almost a missed opportunity where you could have done a little bit more and potentially even raised the value even further for these, but great job nonetheless. Now, speaking of really cool and complex character work, if you're interested in incorporating those into some of your own work and wanna see an absolute game-changing stencil technique that I incorporate into some of mine, make sure you go ahead and check out this video next. All right, guys, everybody get out there and just create.